All right, folks. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at this Retivus RT95 dual band mobile radio um, that they sent me. I want to say thanks to Retivus or Retivus for sending this out for test and evaluation purposes. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to this Nisei SWR and power meter. It has a couple of different settings, 15, 60, and 200 watts. The um, RT95 goes uh, high, medium, and low, high being 25 watts, medium being 15, low being 5. So we're going to test those on the 15 watt and the 60 watt ranges. So when you take a look at this meter, the bottom white line is your 15 watt range, and then the 60 watt range is the middle line. And then we have this meter feeding into this MFJ uh, 261 dry dummy load. And uh, this is what we use for any power tests that we do on radios like this. So let me go ahead and get this thing all fired up and then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. All right, so here's an extreme close up. Well, that sucker is loud and uh, the plastic's still on here. I wonder if that's causing any issues. Anyhow, uh, one of the things I wanna show real quick is that here, when I would type in one, four, six, five, two, zero. You'll notice that it drops down to one, four, six, five, two, one, two. And that is because the step size. So one of the things that this radio comes with is the ability to change the step. So let me hold down the function key. And then I want to go down to channel menu. And silly me, this is for the power that we're going to be cycling through the high, medium and low. We'll start off with low. Let me go back. But it's under the function menu, and here is the step setting. And so when I hit that, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set that to 10K. And then I'm going to go back, escape. And then when I type in 146520, I'm good. And that's the frequency that we're going to test on, which is okay because we're transmitting into the dummy load that we talked about. The other thing that I wanted to mention is down here, you can see the DC power input, which is nice, and we are sitting pretty at 3.6 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the scene so you can see both the screen and the power meter. So let me do that now. Okay, and we're still recording, so we should see this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the range to the 5 watt setting and we're going to go ahead and we're going to key up and see what happens. And to set the range to the 15 watt setting, not the 5 watt setting. So when you can see, I'm TXing and my power level is remaining constant, which is good. And then when I take a look on the screen, we are right on at 5 watts, uh, which is perfect. So let me go into function. Oops, long press of function. Let me, let me go down to channel menu. And this should take us to 15 watts. So that is the tip of our scale here. So we're going we're gonna to risk it and see what happens. And it looks like it's hitting right on 15. So exactly as advertised. This is fantastic. Let's go ahead and switch this to 60. And then we are going to go ahead back into our function menu. And then we are going to go down the channel menu and set the power to high. And when we do this, we should see around 25 watts. And we're taking a little bit of a dip on our DC power, which is okay. And we are a little bit over 20 but I don't necessarily know if that's exactly 25, but I think it's close enough. So we're happy there. Let's go ahead and try this on our uh, 440 or 70 centimeter band. So here we are on uh, 432, and let's go ahead and uh, we'll start this time with the high frequency or with the high power and uh, work our way down. And you can see it's a little bit over 20. Uh, it looks like it's right around where we were on two meters. Um, I'm going to call that close enough and call that a pass. So we're happy about that. Let's go into our function menu. 
go down to our to our channel menu. We're going to switch our range back down to 15 and this should go all the way to the end of the second bar, second white bar. And that's right where we want it. Let's go ahead and set it to low and see if we get five watts. All right, let's see. And I think we're right where we want to be. So in regarding the power output test, we are going to give the Redivis RT95 a thumbs up and say it does what it says. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond.